welcome to my Suzanne Hall French woman style for 2020. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of the Suzanne collections and French woman style for that matter too. So you've probably seen me wearing lots of their pieces both on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram page. Their clothing just really resonates with my personal style and this summer is no exception. It's always classy, elegant and very very chic. I always find far too much I love. So let me get stuck in and show you everything I bought. First up, let's talk about the beautiful blazer I'm wearing, which is actually called the Will Jacket. Now you might have spotted previously that I've actually got the denim version of this in indigo. So because I love it so much and it seems to work so well with lots of the pieces I already have, I decided to treat myself and buy one in blush as well. Now they are available in lots of different colors. You've obviously got the blush that I've gone for or the indigo that I already have. There's a khaki, a white, a blue striped version, some really, really nice different alternatives. But I decided to go for the blush because one, I think it's a really pretty color. And I also thought it'd be really nice and fresh for spring, summer as well. And on top of that, I think it will also work well for autumn, winter too. Like lots of the denim at Cezanne, it's made from 100% certified organic cotton. So not only does it feel really beautiful against your skin, but it's also a bit kinder to the planet at the same time. Now the wheel jacket really Details at £100 and judging from how much I've used my indigo version I think I will definitely get my cosplay per wear out of the blush as well. If like me you love that French woman style or maybe you just love beautiful elegant pieces it would be really lovely if you could subscribe to my channel and make sure you press the bell button beside it which will just let you know each time I upload a new video and also you can find me over on Instagram at fashion and style edit. Now when I go over to Suzanne's website to treat myself to a little haul I can get easily sidetracked. This time even I was looking for blouses and I came across a beautiful dress, a gorgeous bikini even a pair of cowboy boots I fell in love with. But thankfully this next shirt got me back on track and the moment I spotted it, it was definitely going straight in my basket. So this is called the Florence shirt. It's really, really similar to the Anne shirt that I've got actually in a camel tone. I don't know if you've seen that one on my channel. But my thinking was I've had so much wear out of that beautiful shirt that I could really do with one or a similar one in a different colour. I decided to go for the navy because I thought it was the most classic and timeless and really really elegant for my wardrobe. So do check the composition because I think it's different for different prints but this one and I think four others are made from 100% silk and I can honestly say it's absolutely beautiful. Such lovely quality. The spots are obviously really on trend for this season but they're never going to go out of fashion so that's a nice touch. I really like the collar here. It's like a pyjama style collar so it sits just above my bra strap. I've gone true to size with my usual UK 10 and I would say the fit is perfect. I am a little bit tighter on the sleeves than I would be normally but I think that's more to do with me putting on a little bit of lockdown weight. So I'd probably say ignore that because fit across the chest is definitely true to size for a UK 10. And then in this next look I wanted to show you how I would equally wear it super casual just roll back those sleeves shimmy them up above my elbow and pair it with a pair of jeans. So a really beautiful and very versatile new shirt for my wardrobe that I am very very, very excited about. I finally did it. I went and treated myself to a bag that I've wanted for a very, very long time. So let me show you which one I went for. Beautiful packaging, by the way. Lovely box with the Suzanne print on. So as you can see, I went for the beautiful Tan Faro bag. I absolutely adore this handbag. I can't tell you how much I love this handbag. I think I saw it on their website a really long time ago, perhaps when I first discovered their brand actually. This is one of their iconic bags, so they bring it out time and time again. And then when I popped to the Suzanne store in January, I think it was, um, I sort of had a little try on and had a look in the mirror and I absolutely loved it but I didn't dare treat myself at that point and then of course the pandemic happened and then we started renovating our house so I was making lots and lots of excuses why I couldn't spoil myself and then when I was on their website the other day I just thought you know what you only live once 
buy the handbag, Jessica, and I'm so glad I did. So you've got three color options with the Faro bucket bag. You can either go with black, which is beautiful, very elegant, uh, the camel, which is what I've gone for, and the other option is the chocolate. I think it's just personal preference. So even though it is a bucket bag in shape, it's not the traditional slouchy bucket bag. It's still quite structured, which I really like because it feels more polished and elegant and chic. I haven't even taken the stuffing out yet, but as you can see, it's really quite stiff around these edges I'm not able to bend that too easily and that's a good thing in my opinion because it's going to keep the shape that it has on day one so let me take this stuffing out and have a look inside now I believe all the bags with Cezanne are vegetable dyed as well which is obviously a much more sustainable way of dyeing the handbags and with this particular bag you have the option to have it monogrammed now I did opt in for that and I've had the initials of all three of my boys but I can't remember where they said it would be so let me just have have a little look. Ah, uh, so there it is. On the inside of the bag, the initials of my boys, Fred, Albert, and Walter. I think that is a really nice touch, actually. It's actually surprisingly big inside. I can definitely get everything that I love to cart around with me, everything by the kitchen sink, and probably will. <laughs> so yes, a beautiful handbag that I am very excited to have in my collection. Uh, I did feel a bit guilty spoiling myself, but I'm very glad I did. Do let me know what you think of the handbag actually because I was very torn between the Faro and also the Victor. They're both really beautiful handbags but it'd be interesting to hear which was everyone's favourites. Now talking about handbags, I just really quickly wanted to show you something that arrived in the post today because it's for a brilliant, brilliant cause. Now Radley London got in touch with me recently to say they're bringing out a cotton tote bag and 100% of the profits are going to Solace Women's Aid. So they offered if I would like one and I said absolutely love it and I would love to share it with all of my subscribers. So I'm just gonna quickly show you that now. So it arrives in a beautiful box that says smile across the front, beautifully wrapped as Radley London that love to do oh that is super cool i like that sorry let me get rid of my noisy box i will definitely be using that as my shopper so one super cool tote that is a gorgeous addition to my collection and with 100 percent of the profits going to solace women's aid it's definitely a worthwhile course so next up i went for the Cezanne classic tomboy shirt i've been trying to buy this shirt for a very long time things sell out so quickly on their website now like a lot of their collection this shirt is made from certified organic cotton it feels beautiful quite heavyweight actually it's not super super light so i think that's definitely going to work for spring summer but also autumn winter as well so i ordered this in a uk 10 i'm going to send it back and get it in a uk 12 and then i just think it'll have a little bit more slouch to it which is how i like to wear them saying all of that it is a true to size fit it's just a personal taste that i would like it a little bit bigger it's got really nice fine blue stripes running through it and then obviously the accru in between they've got a slight pin tuck detail over the shoulder so it's just making it stand up just ever so slightly which i think is a really nice touch i would probably style this in lots of different ways obviously dressing it down with a pair of jeans maybe sandals loafers or trainers but i also really like the mixture of wearing a shirt like this that's made from 100 percent cotton with a really tailored pair of trousers maybe some beautiful heels and a clutch bag and i think it's that mixture of fabrics and styles that would work really nicely together but knowing me on a day-to-day -day basis i would probably just roll the sleeves up and wear it with a nice pair of jeans and a pair of trainers very casual but still really chic and feeling elevated at the same time Now I took a bit of a gamble with this next item because they didn't actually have my size, but lucky for me, they actually come up big and I love the fit. A bit like the Tomboy shirt, I've wanted to try the girlfriend jeans for so long now, but they've always been sold out in my size. So I'm really glad that I actually decided to have a go in a size smaller. So I would say I always, across the board, all different brands take a size 28 in jeans. So I was a little bit worried about the size, but as you can see, they're a really, really nice fit. And 
actually, if I'd have gone for my usual size, I think they would have definitely looked a little bit big, probably more like a boyfriend jean instead of going a size down and them looking very much like a girlfriend jean, which I really, really like. So these have been made from GOTS certified organic cotton. So much kinder for the planet as well as for my wardrobe. So you've got buttons down the front here and the waist actually is described as the perfect waist. It's not too high, not too low. And I would definitely agree with them. I absolutely love that waistband. In fact, I would say that is the perfect waistband for me in a pair of jeans. I can easily get my thumbs in around the waistband. It's not digging in anywhere. They feel super, super comfortable. I think that drop in the crotch is perfect as well. Gives you a little bit of room and really helps create that perfect girlfriend jean shape. Now the feel of the denim is really nice as well. It's very soft, obviously, because it's organic cotton. But I also like the fact that they've not done it too lightweight, where you then feel like you're showing every lump and bump. It's not super heavy, but it's not ridiculously light either. Just somewhere in the middle. Enough to make you feel like you've got a really nice, high quality pair of jeans that are going to keep their shape and also skim in all the right places at the same time. Now, as you can see in this footage, I've paired it with a shirt I actually got from Suzanne as well. Sadly, that's sold out, but I will link some of my other favorites in the description box below. And just a pair of tan sandals that I got from H&M with, of course, my beautiful new bucket bag because I think that tan color really ties in nicely with the sandals. It's a very laid back yet elevated everyday summer outfit that I think I will probably wear an awful lot. Now Suzanne don't often do sales, but they do sometimes launch what they call an archive collection, something that they might have a bit more stock of and then they offer a discount. So that is where my next piece has come from and I think I've got a beautiful piece here for just £40. So this was actually in the knitwear section, so I would advise you to have a look at that range as well because although that is knitted linen, I would say that is a beautiful top for summer. Now obviously you've got this off the shoulder ruche detail around the chest point here you could wear that up if you wanted to but I think it's really nice off the shoulder I do really like that as a trend anyway and I think this is a really flattering part of most women to see this collarbone section here now the string tie that tightens it has just got a few little tassels on the end and a few little beads in wood yellow and blush there which I think is a nice touch the sleeves are coming up three-quarter length and I'd probably always shimmy those up a little bit I find that three-quarter length a little bit frustrating I can't wear things just kind of hanging there unless it's a shirt and lengthwise you've definitely got enough room there to be able to tuck it into a pair of jeans or maybe smart trousers and a nice skirt whatever it is you want to pair it with i think that would look beautiful actually with a big maxi skirt for spring summer i think that's a really nice look but of course i wear jeans an awful lot so i wanted to show you how it looks with my slim parfait jeans that i got a while ago from suzanne and on my feet i've just got my loafers so a very chilled out outfit but it does feel quite ibithery quite summery and definitely the sort of thing that i love love to wear. Now like I mentioned things sell out really really quickly on their website but I will link in the description box below some of my key favourites from the archive selection as well as the other new and noteworthy from the main collection. So do have a peek at those and let me know what you think. I am so happy with everything I purchased from Suzanne for this summer. I love the fabrics, the fit. I think the quality just stands out a mile. They tick all the boxes for me. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below your favorite piece that I bought. It's really nice chit-chatting with you. Thank you so much for watching and as always, all your lovely support and hopefully you will join me back here on Wednesday for lots more outfit ideas. Take care.